guys welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to create a bind service by using messenger so if you're using the binder class to create a bound service you have to make sure that your service and the component which is binded to the service within the same process otherwise it will not work and if you want to place your service in a remote process you have to use a messenger so this is how the Android system will achieve inter-process communication through services. So in this case, there is no public methods are available on the service. Instead, the client will send some commands to the service and the service will do the work. So the client will send the commands in the form of a message object. Okay, so here I am going to create a simple Android application that will demonstrate how to create a bind service by messenger. So here we have three buttons. First button is for bind the service and other two buttons for do some work. Now we have to create a new service. So right click the package and create a new Java class. Name the class as my service. Click OK. Now extends service. Now override the needed method. Only one method is needed which is the onBind method. Click OK. Now we have to create another class that extends the handler. So class incoming handler extends handler. Now you need to override a method called handle message. So in this case each message from the client is received on this method handle mes message on this method handle message so you have to done the work on this method so now here I am going to make the work so before going to make any work here I am going to create some static variables static final int job of 1 initialize with some value 1 now create another variable static final int job 2 with some other integer values ok so here the client communicate with the service by sending some commands so the first thing we have to identify which command is actually sent by the client so here I am going to use a switch case statement so add a switch case statement now you have to we have to identify the command by using the what member of the message object so msg dot what now we have to identify each of the commands sent by the client so the first command is if the command is equal to job1 we have to make the job one so here display some message get application context hello from job one now specify the length and finally make the dos visible using show method add the break statement okay now we have to add the second case if it is equal to job2 we have to done job2 so copy this statements paste it here hello from job2 okay also add another default block in the default case Call the super method okay so now we have a class called uh, incoming handler that extends handler now we have to create an object of messenger so here I am going to create an object of messenger so messenger I name it as m messenger equal to new messenger and make it as instance of the handler 
new incoming handler okay now we have to return this messenger from the onBind method so by using the messenger object the client can send some command to the service in the form of a message object so now from this iBinder here I am going to return the messenger object return m messenger sorry you have to call another method called get binder this will return an object of m messenger there is some mistake no nothing okay so here display some message using a toast toast dot make toast get application context service binding Now specify length for the toast, toast dot length long, and finally make it visible. Okay. Now we finish the coding on the service. Now we have to bind the service to the activity. So go to the main activity dot Java. So on the XML file we have three buttons, and we have some onclick method called uh, bind service, say hello, and yeah, only one method, say hello. I use the same method for these two buttons okay so go to the main activity of Java so first thing we have to create an object of service connection to manage the communication between the activity and the service so here I am going to create private service connection I name it as M connection equal to new service connection okay so we got the ibinder object on this method on service connected method so now we have to create an object of messenger here so create an object of messenger messenger I name it as m messenger and initialize this with the null so for for the binding status of the service create some boolean value boolean is bind and initialize it with the false okay so now we have to initialize the messenger object here i am going to initialize the messenger object within the on service connected method so m messenger equal to new messenger and pass the ibinder object ibinder argument here the argument is service pass this pass that value okay so now we initialize the messenger object now make the boolean value is bind into true is bind into true okay so now we have to bind to the service so now whenever user click the bind service button bind service button we have to bind the service to the activity so go to the bind service method and first we have to create an object of intent name it as intent equal to new intent this and the class of the service here the class is my service my service dot class okay now we have to bind the service so bind service first you have to pass the indent object indent second argument you have to pass the service connection object here it is m connection now a flag is needed so context dot and use this flag bind auto create okay now we successfully bind to the service now we have to make the work so whenever user click the button say hello and say hello again this method will invoke so, so the first thing we have to identify which button is clicked by the user before that here under method on service disconnected this method will invoke if the service is crashed or the android system will stop the service so in this case we have to reset the object so m messenger equal to null 
also make the is bind into false okay so finally we have to unbind the service from the activity so here i am i override the one of the life cycle method of the activity on stop in this method here i am going to unbind the service so unbind service and pass the service connection object also make is bind into false also m messenger equal to null reset all the values okay so now we have to now we have to do the job so go to the say hello method so here we using a messenger to communicate with the service so in this case there is no public methods are available on the service instead the client will send some command to the service in the form of a message object so the first thing we have to identify which button is clicked by the user so for that here create another string value string button text okay so button text equal to the view object it is a button so cast it into button dot get text okay, I think we need to type cast this one into string cast it into string okay now if the text is equal to if the text dot equals say hello that means the user click the first button otherwise else else if if the button text dot equals say hello again that is the second button okay here we need some double quotes okay so before make the communication with the service we need to identify whether the service is already binded or not so before make all this job some add some if loop if the service is already bind we have to do the job otherwise bind the service first okay so else ask the user to bind the service toast dot make a test get application context bind service first and specify the length into long and finally make it visible using show method okay so the first thing we have to create a message object and we have to pass the message object to the service using the messenger object so if the user click the first button that means say hello button we have to do the first job so first we have to create a message object message equal to message dot and call the method obtain first here I pass null value second you need to pass the command here the command is get from the service itself my service dot it is job one that is the command also you have to pass some some more arguments okay now you need to pass this message to the service using messenger so m messenger dot call the send method and pass the message of course you need to add some try catch block surround it with some try catch okay so now we have to we do the first job now we have to done the second job so copy these things message and the try catch block and paste it here 
on the second button and here the job is job 2 the second job okay so now we finish the coding now we have to add the service into the manifest so open the android manifest.xml and add a new service new service with the name my service okay now I finish the coding now here I am going to run the application okay now here we have the application available on the virtual device first I click the button say hello so first we have to bind the service so I click the bind service button now the service is binded to the activity and here I am going to click the first button hello from job1 this is the first job on the service and click the second button this is the second job from the service I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode